happy Saturday. Anyways, it's Saturday, guys. Hey, this is Ken here. I know I'm not part of our family nest much anymore. <laughs> yeah, we're going out for anniversary dinner tonight, even though tomorrow's our anniversary because we're going to be with the Chitlins tomorrow at the annual apple apple butter festival so we figured we'd go to dinner tonight and maybe use some of candy's gift cards for some shopping so i thought it would be fun on our anniversary how many years let's just pretend it's our anniversary 23 23 23 years so it's easy to remember because we got married in 99 yeah, so it's just, the year plus one yeah but you guys get to hear me talk all the time you guys know ken's not in the vlogs all that often so i posted on my instagram story that we were celebrating our anniversary and if you guys had any questions for us to shout them out so i thought while we're driving here I'm gonna you know what's crazy is the weather today is it's like 70 degrees and sunny on our wedding day it was probably like 50 degrees cold you think it was that cold it was freezing it was rainy it, i know that it didn't rain during our ceremony no i know but it was like rainy throughout the day yeah, and we got married really outside gloomy we got married twice we got married and well we got remarried in the catholic church so the kids could go through their catholic stuff right we're really battling the sun right now <laughs> but it's gonna, gonna get worse again in a minute do so. the best we can first question is this these for me or for us? i'm gonna let you do most of the talking right. what is it like being married <laughs> what <laughs> obviously must be someone that's not um, married so being married is it's all of the above. Fun, challenging, exciting, difficult, you know, all, basically your, my marriage, I guess I can't speak for everybody, right? Yeah. I really can't, is, is I'm married to my best friend, in my opinion. Oh, <laughs> I can't say. Oh, uh, here's the sun's back. <laughs> I married, I married someone that I can hang out with, I can tell everything to, I can do the stuff that I just you probably wouldn't do in front of anybody else. Um, it's just, it's never boring. Um, we know when each other needs space, right? I mean, it's yeah. just, you're just, it's it's a partner. It's a partnership. So it's like having your, your buddy or your partner with you all the time and it just, it works. So this kind of ties well into the next question. Is, has your relationship grown stronger since the kids are older? expectation and, and it's nobody's fault by any means you'd think now that we're almost empty nesters that we would actually spend more time together <laughs> and I think we spend the same amount of time together yeah I think just because we have our routine I guess kind of down that we work during the day when you're married for 23 years goes through changes right. I mean you have the madly in love stage you have the jealousy stage you have the busy as heck stage you know, I, I just you're just in a it, it, you go through different stages of love let's stay. stay right there I'm, I'm calm but lean your head in a little bit there we are has there ever been a serious fight that might have ended in your marriage it's probably been can how long has it been since we've had a fight yesterday <laughs> we had a fight yesterday <laughs> What advice would you give to a couple that's been married for a few years and is about to start a family? I mean, it'll change. You'll get busy. You'll get it. You know, obviously, I think she's gonna handle most of the responsibilities with the children. And for a male perspective, is you just gotta do your part. And I think the big thing is you've all, we've always said this is pick your battles, right? Isn't that the big yeah. one? Pick your battles. You're gonna have fights. You're gonna bicker. But pick your battles. Have the fights about the things that really matter or mean something, not the silly stuff. Like kind of with what you were saying, that actually defining your roles then. Like what are your expectations going into? That's a, yeah, like perfect. okay, kids born, what, who's doing what? Am I the only one getting up in the middle of the night? 
Okay. Well, a lot of that stuff you wanted to do, I wasn't. I wasn't really good at uh, the whole diaper and puke thing, though, was I? You're not good with puke. You were okay with diapers. Yeah, but you did. You you did a lot of that but stuff. But I was a stay-at-home mom. Yeah, I was. For, the, I played with the kids. You were like you worked outside the home full time. Yeah, that's true. I stayed home, so like yeah, even if I fed the baby at 2 a.m. if they were back up at 4 30 a.m. you would just keep sleeping because you to had to get up at 7 to go to work so right. but that was our understanding that was kind of like we that was our agreement that was our plan you get to stay home and I can't be up with the kid because I got to go to work the next day right? yeah right. so I think as long as you talk about it all ahead of time and know what to expect just have fun because it goes so freaking yeah, fast. Yeah, I would do anything to have the kids <laughs> little again. For sure. It was it was fun coaching sports and just they were so funny. I mean, anyways. And don't stress out. People get, I always laugh when people are like, oh, I don't know if we're ready, if we can financially afford it. And I'm like, you find a way to make it work. I mean, look around you. Everybody does it. Yeah. Everybody finds a and way to And there are struggles, yep. You find a way to make it work. Do you feel blessed? Oh, absolutely. How do you not? <laughs> yes, we feel very blessed. Very much. So. Threefold. Always have. I don't know Even. how we've been so lucky. Um, Even through our worst times, when you think back to being in the old hospital, we went yeah. through some of the struggles. I know you always know that it can be way worse. Absolutely. So you, you got a roof over your lucky. head, food on the table. Yeah. But I mean, it doesn't mean we don't stress now like we did oh, back then. Sure. The stresses are different. Yeah. They feel different. Um, but everything's not easy, trust me. For We're just like everybody else in the world. Put yeah. our pants on the same way. <laughs> this person. This person says, kind of weird, but how much you have it? And then the next question is, how much you S-E-Y say Tim's? How much you have say Tim's? What does that mean? It's supposed to be sexy time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Oh, is that? That's what it's supposed to mean. Enough for me and not enough for him. How about that? that? A, there's a perfect answer. <laughs> It's never enough for men, I swear. But I should say that's a stereotype. Alright guys, so we're at P.F. Chang's for dinner. I got my traditional lettuce wraps. Hot and sour soup. That's excited. Because they brought me two, so I get to take one home. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> so we are done with dinner. I don't know, did we tell them that, yeah, that we had a gift card, right? I don't know. So, we had a gift card for P.F. Chang's paid for what half of our dinner yep from my birthday and then our next gift card from my birthday is Barnes and Noble my favorite place and then after that we can go to Target what do we can buy at Target toilet paper we're running low on toilet paper coffee for Frank <laughs> this things I need this is a note from your dad Yep. coffee, coffee. toilet paper pledge the mop for the kitchen you know the spinning thing his mop broke he's uh, like you can just buy the one thing i want to buy him a new freaking bucket window cleaner gatorade <laughs> potatoes vegetable beef and milk oh i could have wrote that list without even reading the food list Why? it's the same stuff he always gets vegetable every, beef soup every week and gatorade I already we already gave him gatorade um what does he have that spin mop still yeah i don't you can only buy that stuff online well yeah we'll just buy it you're gonna have to get it off amazon well i got plenty of time here inside of barnes and nobles to do my shopping oh you can shop online for the mop for the kitchen all right guys went into barnes and noble only got one book hopeless so that means i only need one more book to complete my Colleen Hoover collection. I'm trying to get all the new covers of... I need seven more Blaze helmets to complete <laughs> my Blaze collection. Oh, Lord. I do have a list. Of course you do. Okay, anyways, I need slammed still, but I was looking to see if you guys asked us any more good questions, and I like this one, so we want Ken to answer. How do you know when he or she is the one? How do you know when you've met You know the, the answer. Wanna you know what I'm going to say, don't I you? I want to hear it. It hurts. <laughs> Am I right? Yep. 
that we were in oh our 20s God. when we said that. that how do you know? Back. How do you know when you're in love? Because it hurts. <laughs> That's awesome. That's the truth. You can't believe I remembered it, probably. Yeah, that's what I was going to say, because it's not like something we talk about. It goes all the way back to, God, when did we get back together? Was that like 1997? I don't know. Because we had broke up one summer, and then we got back together. and Three times. One of my high school friends was over my house, and you came over, right? I don't know. And we were talking, having this conversation because she was dating this guy. She's not with him anymore. We were all talking about how you know it's the one because it hurts. Because I, I said that though. Was it? Yeah, yeah you I said it. I couldn't remember who said it. I, I just remember it. the conversation. All right, tips for making it 23 years. You have 30 seconds. Go. Tips? I don't have any tips. What's your secret? Just let her do whatever she wants to do. Make her the boss. I can't see you. That's it's, probably it's, pretty it's good. It's like it's a lie. There. Oh, there we go. Yep. You just let her think she's in control. Think? Yep. That's the secret. That's the secret. Just say yes. Like right now. Whatever I'm you want. Going to Barnes and Nobles and Target. I'm just cooperating. <laughs> hoping I get lucky You tonight. have a list to go into the <laughs> store. This yeah. is like everybody loves Raymond. He does stuff because, like, he bought her the pots and pans because he thought he was going to get lucky. Go on the golf trip oh, is what God. it was. Okay. So that was a uneventful, not very fun Target trip because guess what I used my gift card for? To buy toilet paper and boxers. <laughs> That's your own fault. You had I plenty know. of... I've been to what Target. Hap what happens when you, you have everything? Yep. I've been to Target enough times lately with Carlene to know there was nothing there that I needed. <laughs> Look at him. That was funny. I wish I would have got that on camera. What? He was whacking Shaggy in the face with his tail. I'm looking at Toby. Look at him. He just thinks, like, come on. Where's my comfy spot? Go right there. He's going to come. That's not where he wants to be. Where does he want to be? Spoiled dogs, look at them all. So apparently we're watching Oculus. From 2013. This is, oh, Carly said we need to watch Black Phone. I think it's called Black Phone. This one looks good, I wanna watch this one Well, first. at least Black Phone we know it's good. Anyway, so we're gonna go through, it's called Rapid Fire. Uh, what is your favorite thing about each other? Her boobs and butt. Ken. That's the honest truth. It doesn't mean physical. Yeah, I was thinking. Butt cheeks. Shut up. I was thinking like. Her eyes. They, I was thinking more that like. That's not the being I can't married. To, how I'm being wrong. married to you is like being married to a child. <laughs> <laughs> a twenty-year-old. That's. I have right. a young husband. No, I'm hardly young. Uh, Twenty-year-old in his head and eighty-year-old body. Would you ever tell a child you don't support their relationship? No. Ever? What if it was a really toxic relationship that wasn't like good for them for whatever reason? Yeah, we'd we'd give our opinion, but it's not. We would. It, we wouldn't be like we don't support you. I wouldn't good. say that, but I would have open communication if we were like really concerned with something that was like detrimental to their like mental health or whatever. If Ken was a book character, who would he be? Charlie Brown. <laughs> would you be Edward or, or Jacob? <laughs> Neither. I'm nothing like either one of them. What if you had to pick? You had to I'm be more like Kevin James. <laughs> That's true. But what if you had to pick? Who would you want to be? Not Edward. Nope, well, then you end up alone. <laughs> How did you meet? I used to babysit across the street from where his parents lived. All right, last question. What advice would you give yourself in year one of marriage? I get married in two weeks. So, like, if you could go back and tell yourself something from our first, like, in our first year of marriage, what advice would you give? Don't sweat the small stuff. Yeah, just enjoy it. Don't argue. Well, do what gonna, Ken says where you argue. No, but do what Ken says where you just always say that I'm right, that the wife is right. You can't go wrong. <laughs> I say I'm right, but I let you think that you're right. So just always tell the other person that they're right even though you know that they're wrong. <laughs>
That's terrible advice. You get just, they're getting married in a week? Two weeks. Enjoy. Congratulations. <laughs> just enjoy the honeymoon. Make it make the honeymoon last forever. Make a baby during your honeymoon like we did. <laughs> the advice is, is don't get on your phone when you're supposed to be spending time together. Who's on their phone? <laughs> I'm not. I'm, you're not supposed to show them that. They're fo they know I'm focusing on them. Just don't take things too seriously. Like Ken said, don't sweat the small stuff. Have fun. Right on, sister. So that's going to wrap it up, guys. Thanks so much for watching and joining us today on our... 23rd. Anniversary Eve. And we will be back on Wednesday with our festivities for tomorrow. Where we're spending the day with Carly, Chase, and Asha. Alright, bye guys. Peace out.